Hey, it's Steve from Fastle Garden. Steve and Marla here. Uh, had some questions about potatoes and storing potatoes. So when we bought this house uh, five years ago now, one of the biggest priorities was the soil for growing the garden and whether or not it had a fireplace. Didn't have a fireplace, but great soil. Still bummed about the fireplace. As a bonus though, was this little room we found in the basement. Uh, pretty nifty little, probably was a root cellar of some kind. No, it was a well here. room. Well room, that's what it was. Um, but it works great as a root cellar uh, for storing potatoes. So, uh, try not to get too much wood here. The nice thing about it is, it's, uh, it keeps about 50, 55 degrees in the winter time, uh, which is exactly perfect temperature for storing potatoes in. Uh, 53 degrees and about 90% humidity, because otherwise they get wrinkled and dry. If you can store potatoes in the refrigerator too, as long as you turn it up, so it's around 50, 45 to 50, and then keep the temperature high by putting some water in there, you can keep them in a the fridge if you don't have a cool little room like this. So we also have uh, our cannas, which are uh, a perennial flower that we packed in, in cardboard boxes with wood chips because uh, they're a tropical plant. So you have to dig them up out of the ground. We grew a ton of them this year. I, I found a lady at a garage sale, sold me four little bulbs for a dollar a piece. And uh, I now have three huge boxes of them. They split so much. Uh, for potatoes though, you can see these purple potatoes. I got these from Cyan's Greenhouse um, up in Sparta. Uh, go there a lot. I've been going there for years to get flowers, uh, vegetables. They also have organic potatoes. So these are the purple, the little purple potatoes, the mini ones. And you can see they're sprouting, but they're still good. They're not really that wrinkled, a little bit wrinkled, but not too bad. Um, you just break the sprouts off and wash them and they're still good to eat. They, they are in great shape still. Um, so here are some of the bigger potatoes, kind of some odds and ends and old Yukon gold and probably should get that one out of there. It's got a split in it. These are some of the nasty ones that I was probably just gonna replant. Over here, we have multiple other, these are some Yukon Golds. We're gonna use these as starts. Last year, I just planted them just like this. I laid them in a bin uh, in leaves and straw and they turned into leaves and more potatoes. And so these are gonna all be probably replanted this year along with all of these. Uh, we still might eat some of these. These are also a purple potato. These are those beautiful purple potatoes that uh, you saw. They look a little brownish here, but once you uh, wash them off, they're inside and out a beautiful purple color. Uh, just an amazing potato. And as you can see, these little ones have these long roots. These will actually all grow into new potatoes. Maybe not this one, see it's totally wrinkled. It's used up almost all of its stored energy to produce this long root, but it's still alive. This is still growing. If I get this in the ground, this is still gonna send out roots and make more potato plants. All of these are, are So one of the keys to, to storing potatoes is to not wash them off. Right. So here's some red potatoes. These you can see are still nice and firm. They're not soft, they're not wrinkled. They got a couple little uh, shoots out of them, but we put these in in August. We dug these up in August last year and it is now end of February. And these are still totally viable, totally edible, um, delicious potatoes. Fried them up last night, they were amazing. Um, or in a month or so, we, we can plant these in the ground and make more potatoes for next year. So key is keep the dirt on them. Don't wash them, don't get them wet. Let them cure for a day or so and dry in warm temperatures. And then you can put them into a cold room like this. And uh, I have the plastic in here because this actually is outdoors, the, the roof of this room. So occasionally a little water drips in here and that's the one thing you don't want them to actually get wet. You don't want these any of this stuff to actually get wet. We want it to be moist in here, like leave some water in here. Um, the onions too. We grew last year. You can see the onions are still solid, viable. Nice big red onion. It's got a little bit of growth, but it can still be used. These white onions, still edible, still amazing after almost six months here in the cooler. Um, over here, we have some garlic, which that is actually sprouting. I never really see that happen very much. So it must be moist enough in here that the garlic is actually starting to grow new garlic, but we can harvest that for shoots. But this is all organic garlic that I've been growing year after year, splitting it up. These are the smaller varieties, not the big jumbo ones, but this also stores very, very well in this cold room. You're so on. again, simply uh, potatoes, garlic, onions, even carrots, if you store them in wet sand or soil in a room like this, some of my favorite crops because you don't have to can them, you don't have to freeze them, you don't have to chop them up, you don't have to buy a bunch of jars or use a lot of electricity for the freezer. They just store in a nice cool corner of the basement. If you have a cool corner somewhere, the north facing part of your house, concrete, you can even make a little cold room. There's tons of plans on, online where you can make a little room like this, kind of insulate it, 
to keep the concrete from your basement wall will keep that room cool as long as you isolate it from the rest of the warmth of your house. You can usually drop the temperature about 10 to 15 degrees, which is about what you need in the average basement to be about 50, 55. So again, very simple way to store hundreds of pounds of food in a very small space. Uh, the potatoes we grew this year, 170, 180 pounds of potatoes, probably 50 pounds of, or more of garlic, probably 40 pounds of onions, can all be stored with no effort at all and can be used for six to seven months throughout the winter. So it's an amazing, uh, amazing crop. Potatoes, very easy to grow. Enjoy Faster Garden. See ya.